Okay guys, welcome back. So we'll be doing a, an inspection today. Okay, so this is quality control. Our, is our staff doing what they're supposed to be doing? What can they improve on? Things to keep an eye, eye out for. Because you need high quality service if you want to keep the client long term. All right, because if you don't have quality control, the client will complain, they will keep reaching out to you, complaining, and if they complain enough, they cancel. All right, so you gotta fix this before the client even notices it. All right, so this is how you do an inspection. All right, so you're gonna come after the cleaner finished cleaning. All right, so you'll come after hours. So what you can do is come inspect when with the worker when he finishes it or you can inspect randomly without the, the worker knowing so you can inspect randomly all right so things to keep keep an eye out for number one make sure they're uh, they're organized all right so making sure they they put back the chairs where they belong staying organized all right the next thing you want to check dusting all right so you want to check uh, the corners all right you want to check the monitors are they dusty right the tables most important okay if there's something sticky why is it there all right behind the monitors okay so you gotta inspect behind the monitors all right the garbage all right another thing to the organization making sure they put back the garbage bin correctly if they're tossed all over the place like that you need to fix that all right also the garbage bag we only change the garbage bags if if they're dirty all right so if, if it has milk coffee gum if it smells if there's you know flies coming out we change the bags but see this garbage it's pretty clean so we only just dump it into the big one all right but if it's dirty, they need to change the bags. Okay, let's, and also too, making sure, check the bottom, all right? Is it swept, mopped, right? Things you need to keep an eye out for. As we walk around, is this dusted, all right? These corners, all right? Things you need to inspect, right? Even these things, right? When you look, right? The client notices these small details, right? So these are things that need to be fixed, all right? The top monitors, all right? Things you need to inspect, all right? Also important, the leg chairs, all right? That, that's optional, but you know, it doesn't hurt to go the extra mile. All right? The chairs, are they dusty here? All right? Also, depends how picky you are. Maybe this is a once a month type of thing, but wiping the, the bins. All right? The keyboards. All right? What, making sure that's wiped. Are they? All right? Let's go this way. Okay. And small things when you find them, okay? These things, all right? Fingerprints, okay? Making sure they wipe this, all right? So that needs to be wiped, all right? And some things are done daily and some things are done, you know, once a week. Some things are done every two weeks, all right? So for example, every two weeks would be like, you know, wiping this, all right? Dusting. This uh, window, does it, does it have fingerprints or not? That needs to be removed with a uh, brown paper towel bag with vinegar, all right? With COVID, do you see fingerprints on the door handles? Okay. As you walk around, do they need to put more effort into getting the corners done, all right? These floors, they get a lot of grease very easily. Right? As you look around, look at these things. Okay? How dirty are they? Okay, another thing they need to clean is every time there's a printer, 
it needs to be dusted. All right. Also, the printer where you put your fingerprints, that's very to miss. All right. That needs to be cleaned. The table, every boardroom table, use the light reflection, okay, to see if there's any finger fingerprints. All right. to the washroom, okay? Light, light switches, all right? Making sure they wipe that, especially with COVID going on. All right, so welcome to the washroom. Right, first thing, check if there's any watermarks on the mirrors, right? Is everything wiped? Are the sinks building calcium buildups, right? Around these things, all right? Make sure there's no calcium buildups. All right. Also, dusting these top top areas, making sure they're dusted. All right. Are the urinals brushed? All right. So check. All right. You want to check. All right. This top area, that all of this needs to be wiped. All right. Especially the bottom. Are they wiping the bottom? All right, guys. Also, there is to miss these things, the walls. Okay, these are things you gotta keep an eye out for when you're inspecting, all right? Same thing, urinals. In the toilets, the first thing you should see is their rings, calcium buildup rings building up. Because if they do, they need hydraulic acid to remove that. Right, make sure to check every part of the toilet. So this area, all right, and these corners. Right, making sure they get all top. Okay, this area, the back, right here. Don't forget this, the top, and everything from the front and the back. Right, so check the behind there. Right, another thing are they getting the replenishables on time? If there's an empty paper towel roll, that's a big red flag. All right, they need to fix that. All right, so there's plenty of toilet paper, which is good. All right, so other things you want to check. Same thing, the toilets. All right, you want to make sure that they're, they're clean. All right, same with this. All right, and if you're in charge of getting uh, taking care of the replenishables, is there enough soap, okay? Is there enough paper towel? Be because if it's this low and you're required to change them, the client's gonna complain, right? Also, wiping the bins, all right? Uh, another thing that I see a lot of people miss is the walls, all right? If there's watermarks dripping down the walls, Okay, that needs to be fixed, all right? So just keep an eye on the baseboards as well. Do they need mopping? Does the wall need a little mop? Okay, by mop, I mean using a, a mop head that's brand new, okay? This thing, all right, are they wiping this? All right, because every time someone uses it, there, things fall in between. All right, so are they wiping right here? Let's go. All right, so we're in the cafeteria now. All right, so things to keep an eye out for when inspecting, All right? Are the tables being wiped? Is there bread breadcrumbs? Is it sticky? All right, things to keep an eye out for. Right? These things, are they mo being mopped? Right? Are they sweeping between the tables right here? Right? It's very easy to miss. Right? So, are they covering every single corner? Right, guys? Inspections. 
check the corners, right? Are they cleaning behind the garbage bins? All right? Are they sweeping, mopping? Okay. Are the bags being changed? All right? Are they wiping this? And these are things like once every two weeks, okay? You won't have to be, if you're very, very, very picky, you will never be satisfied, right? But there's things that need to be done, you know, once a week, every two weeks. So they don't accumulate. All right? The fridge, right? Spot clean them once a while, all right? So check and make sure to tell them, hey, we want our fridges clean once a week. So keep an eye on it, eye on it. Right? Carpets, are they being mopped? I mean, vacuumed. All right? The top of the fridge, are they wiping it? Are they wiping the top of the fridge? The vending machines, all right? Spot cleaning inside the fridge. Okay, most, in very important. The fingerprints, are they cleaning that? Okay, the top, all right? Inside, are they cleaning inside the microwaves? Right, so things you want to check, okay? Right here, corners, okay? Because if you go like this and your hand is dirty, that needs to be fixed, all right? Wiping all these things, okay? Wiping all these tables. Is it smooth or is it sticky? Ask yourself, all right? These things inside the microwave, all right? Also, maybe once a week, wiping down the cabinets, all right? Maybe once a week, wiping the fridge, wiping the bins. Those are things that are done once a week, but every day, we do this daily, make sure there's no fingerprints, all right? This is optional, but it doesn't hurt to wipe it, all right? Making sure there's no crumbs behind or underneath, all right? Making sure we clean that. All right, maybe optional, but wiping these so there's no fingerprints, all right? There's a certain degree of how picky you can be, all right? But make sure they cover at least 90%, all right guys? So that's everything for the calf, all right? If we were to estimate how long this will take, I'll say about 15 minutes. All right, all right guys, so that's, those are some of the things to keep an eye out for, all right? Dusting, the corners, behind the toilets, underneath the urinals, inside the microwaves, all right? Ask yourself, ask the client, am I satisfied with the cleaning, all right? You should be more picky than the client, all right? Because you need to fix these issues before the client even notices it, all right? So these are some of the things to inspect, all right? Keep an eye out for, all right? Don't be too, too, too picky, but be picky, all right? And yeah, that's everything, and that's how you inspect a building, all right? Remember, the dirtier it is, the harder it is to clean, all right? So ask yourself, can I clean this better, right? What can I tell my staff to improve the cleaning? All right, guys, see you guys soon.